Swinging in my hand, I fell asleep. I dreamed a dream and I thought it true. Concern and Franklin and his gallant crew. With a hundred seas. Frozen ocean in the month of May to seek a passage around the pole where we poor seamen sometimes go. Ship on mountains of ice was drove. Only the Eskimo in his skin canoe was the only one that ever came through. In Baffin Fate of Franklin, no man may know. The fate of Franklin, no tongue can tell. Lord Franklin, with the sailors did Long lost Franklin, I'd cross the main. Ten thousand pounds would I freely
<laughs> Good evening. Um, lo lovely to be here. I'm amazed at the setup. Thank you so much, um, Jeremy, from and, and current that I'm here today for like the first time. I've probably left my house for a proper gig um, in over a year. So I have to admit, it feels amazing, but it also feels a little strange. I had to like relearn how to drive today. I had to relearn how to put my makeup on. I had to relearn how to play the piano. So I'm like hoping that you guys will come with me on a little journey tonight um, to remember how this feels. So I'm looking over here at um, an amazing screen that I can actually communicate with you guys at home. Um, I'm loving this. So let me see if I can have a little, little go here. Oh, somebody's speaking to me in Gaelic. Now that is amazing, but Dermy, you're gonna have to <laughs> help me out with this. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, Acton family tuned in. Sandra McGovern, lovely to see you. Maria Howard. Oh, Angela Warren, so lovely to see you here. Paula McCall, Scott Flanagan, who was here, I think, two weeks ago. Um, yeah, amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I'm like, I just want to like stare and just talk to everybody. <laughs> Gotta have to move on at some stage. Um, so I started uh, the evening with the beautiful My Leg and Love. Uh, Neil Martin, who amazing friend of mine and musician, and he's actually blessed me with a few different arrangements of um, very well known Irish areas that I will share with you tonight. Um, so that was that was Neil's arrangement of My Lag and Love, which I adore playing. Um, so I'm going to move on. I have to remember what I'm playing next. So, um, I'm, I'm going to keep um, keep it in this sort of romantic, uh, luscious melody. Uh, era, I'm going to play some Sibelius for you. Now Sibelius isn't really very well known for solo piano pieces, but this is his romance in D flat, which probably is um, his most famous um, solo piano piece. So hope you enjoy.
There's not many, there's not many people who do. Um, I do like it a lot, and I'm sure that you guys have too. So uh, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Middle Isle, um, Paula and Mick, who have made this happen. Um, I've been watching the last few weeks here with, with Dermy, and it's an amazing setup. Um, really, really blessed to, to be here and to start, you know, I suppose it gives us a little bit of hope that we're, we're on our way back slowly and steadily. Um, so I'm going to move on. I'm going to take you to a little bit of French music now. So the very, very well-known Nossians. Um, I'm going to play three of them. I'm going to play numbers one, three, and four. Um, Sati, I think he made up the word Nossian. It doesn't really actually mean anything, but he made it up to sort of, you know, describe the free-flowing beauty of, of these works um, that I love. They're very broody, very melancholic, um, and very, very free. So I hope you enjoy my interpretation of one, three, and four.
<laughs> Thank you, guys. Um, I could stay in Sati forever, as you can see, but you might all just get really gloomy on a Friday night, so I should probably um, try and up the party mode a little bit. I'm just going to have a quick nosy here. Um, and I'll like Joey, Andrew. Uh, I love that um, Angela and you're just in there all the time. I love it. Emer, Aoife, and Bro Hughes. I'm loving this. We've got our, our Belfast gang, our Derry gang. Um, it's really great. I hope that you've all dressed up for the occasion and you're not just sitting in your PJs. I've got, no, I don't have my PJs on underneath. Don't I not? I actually dressed up for tonight. <laughs> it was a lot of effort. <laughs> I was told by somebody who saw me today, he asked me, I'll not name any names, I'll get into trouble. He said, why do you always dress as a magician? Magician, whenever you play piano. There's a question. Please don't answer that. No, you can answer that. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to return to the theme of romance on a Friday night. Lockdown romance. Not quite. Um, it's a beautiful French song written in 90, 1963. Um, I think it became quite well known through the movie Shape of Water, um, which was out last year. Do you remember Shape of Water? It's a real like love love story between a sea creature and a human being. Um, so, uh, Le Javanese, and it's a French French musician uh, Serge Gainsbourg, and it was written for Juliette Greco back in 1963. But it just, it's just a stunning melody. So hopefully, you can sing along. You can pretend that you know the lyrics. <laughs> A little bit of um, yeah, a little bit of a of a waltz to take us into the night. Um, Morris, Barbara, I'm loving this. Thank you so much to everybody for for switching on tonight. It definitely makes it better than looking at a blank screen. I had this discussion earlier. What if like nobody writes? Can somebody here write something? Write hello to me. <laughs> so thank you for turning up <laughs> and staying with me. Um, so I, I mentioned earlier that. Um, wonderful 
maestro, I call him Maestro Martin, at Neil Martin. Um, wonderful cello player, alien pipe player that I've had the privilege um, to collaborate with. Uh, I think last year, even though the, the years are rolling in, so maybe it was two years ago, on the BBC show Collaborations. And during lockdown, Neil very kindly sent me um, this beautiful, beautiful Irish song that I didn't, yeah, I, I hadn't heard the melody before, and it's absolutely stunning. Um, I've been practicing the pronunciation, and I'm sure that I'm going to get it right. It's Nian Aweli. Yes, you've no idea how difficult that's been for me to actually learn today. Uh, <laughs> I was going to actually just say nothing and get Dermy to, to <laughs> announce it. But basically, it's, it's Boyle's daughter, and it's the, the old time story of unquited love. Um, two people meet at an Irish wake, and unfortunately, it's only a one sided thing. Um, I'm sure none of us have experienced that. Carry on. I've learned enough in my life now to stay out of that business. <laughs> but this is a beautiful, beautiful um, melody, and I hope you enjoy. And this is. Neil's realization um, of it for myself tonight. So thank you, Neil. Are you watching, Neil? Let me see. Oh, where is he? <laughs> he said he'd watch. <laughs>
You guys can come everywhere with me. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm starting to get used to this whole thing now. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, Neil. Um, what a beautiful melody. I, I love that. Did you know this before? Yeah. <laughs> Loretta Phillips, thank you for being here. And my cousin, Julie Carr. Um, oh, and my dad. Hi, dad. <laughs> my mom and dad, I knew my mom and dad will be here. <laughs> so I'm going to change things up a little bit. Um, I'm sure most of you heard of the news of the passing of legend, jazz legend, um, Chick Corea uh, a few weeks ago. And, you know, he's had such an influence on so many musicians' lives. Um, and, the, you know, the little bit of time from his passing, I've been watching some documentaries and reading up, and he was, he was just an amazing human being as well. And what I love in watching footage of him is how he loved to share his music, you know, he wasn't somebody who kept it to himself or, you know, lived as a hermit that a, a lot of musicians do. So he was all about sharing it. And through lockdown, I mean, daily, he was online um, teaching and, and sharing in, in the most beautiful, simple way. So I um, had a little look to see if there was any uh, of his music that I could play a little bit of tonight. And I came across his uh, children's songs. I think he wrote 20 of them. Um, and they were the first pieces that he wrote for solo keyboard back in 1971, I think. Um, he actually, he, he wrote, I think the first, I'm guessing at this, I think the first 15 or 16 for guitar, actually, um, and the last few for piano, but could be played on either or, and are also orchestrated. So I did ask my son if he would come along and play on guitar, but he said he was busy on the Friday night, so. I have to do the job instead. <laughs> He'll kill me if he's watching. I'm sure he's not watching. <laughs> so I'm just going to play a selection um, of children's songs from Chick Corea. Now, they, I think they were written to convey the simplicity and the beauty of a child. Um, so there's an underlying simplicity of, of feel, although sometimes there's twists and a little bit of, uh, of a little knife edge and obviously the, the wonderful rhythm um, that Chick Korea um, writes in his music. Some of them are very, very short, so just, just little moments so you can use your imagination.
um, it's, it's great. It's great music. So hopefully some of you will will look it out and play. Um, oh, yeah, keep, I'm, I'm wanting to go here and read. I'm actually wanting to go and answer. It says at the bottom of the screen, type a message. Can I type a message? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> Loretta, Jerry, Tracy, Claire, Amanda, Michael McGinley, Bravo, sis. So I, I guess my, my sister is, yeah, she's, she's somehow in my dad's account. <laughs> it's a family. No, it's probably not a family get together. <laughs> okay, so anybody that knows me, and there's a few of you on there, know that I am a fan of quiet and meditation and and all the good stuff because the crazies have to practice stuff like that. Um, not that I'm saying anything about myself, but especially in, in this day and age, I think it's been such a it's been a difficult year for so many people um, in so many ways. Um, and like the world is crazy. Like the world, the world is really crazy and very noisy. And you know that's where you know music especially the beginning of lockdown when every music was just taken away um, and artists just were so amazing that they would just, you know, they, they went on social media, they did their thing immediately, even if it didn't seem like they were supported. Um, we are finally, thankfully, seeing, you know, we're, we're, we're starting to get back and the Arts Council of Northern Ireland have been amazing. Um, it's been such a, such a difficult time for everybody to sort of organise how support is, happens. Um, but just try to keep people creative and well. So, you know, hopefully this is a start of, yeah, getting back to, to some, well, live music. We're, we're getting there, at least I'm here. I was sort of in the car park expecting a lot of cars tonight. <laughs> oh, we have two audience members in the house, all masked up. <laughs> Jeremy and Fintan, Fintan. <laughs> so, um, I haven't played this piece of music before um, as a solo piano. I have played it with a cellist, wonderful uh, Gabby Swallow, a few years ago in Belfast. But it's, it's a piece probably you know very well. It's, I think it's played probably in films and stuff like that. Spiegel, Im Spiegel, um, by Estonian composer Arvo Part. And I think the translation is Mirror in the Mirror. So it is sort of eight, nine minutes of just very, very minimalist, quiet, slow time which I think we have all been experiencing whether we like it or not or maybe hopefully have learnt to like it. So Spiegel and Spiegel. This is where you can have a glass of wine maybe. Are you allowed to drink at these gigs? <laughs> There's a thumbs up from Jeremy. <laughs>
that's a, it's a, it's a great, great piece, it's a good piece to play. Um, Lucy Gillespie, very enjoyable. Ray High, Caroline Smith, thank you so much. Um, okay, I should wake you up a little bit. I hope you're all with me. I'm, I'm nearly there, just two more pieces uh, to play for you. Um, and then you can, I don't know, really get the party on. Um, so next piece doesn't really need any introduction whatsoever. I just, um, just to let you know again, uh, wonderful Neil Martin has written, well, I actually asked him when I knew I was coming here, um, if he would uh, make an arrangement of Danny Boy for me, because it is actually one of my favorite melodies. So here is Neil Martin's arrangement of Danny Boy.
couldn't hear you. Can we hear them? <laughs> and when you're at home and you think maybe you can be heard or be seen, we, we, couldn't, we couldn't hear you, but I'm sure you were amazing. Um, so thank you so much. We have come to the end of my first ever solo live stream. Not in my own home, which um, has been lovely, but it's been such a delight to be here. Um, thank you so much to Dermy and to Finton and to Paula and, Mi and Mick from Middle Isle um, and to the Arts Council as always for supporting and to Mr. James Henry who came here earlier to tune the piano and I was really annoying about the top C's because of and Spiegel and Spiegel. <laughs> it was like just a little higher so <laughs> um, it's been a real delight so thank you for helping me get through my first and, and I will be back somewhere you might come back and see me again possibly um, so hope you're all well I'm gonna have a wee nosy over here one more time thank you to everybody for coming out and it's been great to be able to like you know not feel that you're just playing to yourself um, which I have been doing for the last year so I'm going to end with, I really should play happy music. Yeah. Next time I will, I, I said this whenever I recorded my wee album a few years ago that I would play happy music, but anyway. who doesn't like a sad song? Um, Charlie Chaplin, Smile. I mean, you know, who doesn't like it? I thought. <laughs> and it really, <laughs> we did have a, a singing version of it earlier. Um, but you know, it really, I suppose we've, we've all been, smiling through maybe not feeling awfully well at times this year so i think it's very apt for ending um i'm already thinking what do i do whenever i'm finished this do i like wave it just all do i crawl off the stage <laughs> i don't know suggest suggestions in the message box let's see oh god lord no 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 suggestions allowed i know you lot um okay thank you so much for for being here and uh and listening. Um, smile, Charlie Chapman. By Mr. Anthony Whedon, um, an amazing friend of mine um, who wrote music for the Theory of Everything movie and he's an extremely talented guy. So it was a real pleasure to, to, to get this arrangement for, from him a few years ago. Um, I actually cried when I played it for the first time. I, he had really listened to what I wanted from it. So it's a, it's a real personal um, smile for me. So there you go.
there's another live stream next week, so thanks for joining me, and um, it's been a really enjoyable to be here. So take care and goodbye.